Hello guys, this is Rocky, man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction video, man. So, Arsenal versus West Ham, man. Uh, London Derby, 2019-20 um, uh, uh, Premier League, man. This game ended in a 1-0 win for Arsenal. Arsenal barely nicked it. Barely got a win. Uh, like I said, scoring a winning goal, um, assisted by Metsa Utsa in the 78th minute. Um, didn't rule a goal. It went to VAR, and VAR said it was a goal, man. Very controversial goal. Um... To be uh correct, man. But uh win is a win, man. I'm happy with this win. Arsenal are forty points, man. They like five points behind Chelsea who are in uh fifth place who are in fourth place right now. So you know what? It's a possibility, bro. Are we back in Europe, man? It's a possibility, but there's a lot of team around that area, man. Uh Burnley right now is playing uh Tottenham and uh um Tottenham I believe is in ninth place right now, and Burnley is in uh uh in eighth place with uh forty one points. Burnley is winning one zero right now, so hopefully stay like that. Tottenham lose, I, I don't mind Tottenham losing. That'd be a win for Arsenal and West Ham because we don't like them. Um, but yeah, man, uh, good win for Arsenal, man. Arsenal dominated the game, bro. Arsenal dominated the game in in the first half. They had like seventy five percent ball possession, and they had zero shot on target, bro. Like um. They they have to they have to be better attacking wise, bro. They have to be better attacking wise and defending wise, man. Uh, defense was solid today, bro. And and that's the thing you don't get with Arsenal, bro. Like when they having a good like when they play good defensively, they don't play good offensively. When they play good offensively, they don't play good defensively. Like um, the back four, Berlino, man, man after match, bro, pulled off some crazy saves today, man. Save after save, man. Even though Arsenal was a better team overall when it comes to like ball possession. They they kind of struggle um when it comes to like shots and all that stuff like creating chance opportunity attacking wise they struggle. West Ham was a better team in in that aspect man, but uh Berlin man they came up with some great saves throughout the game. Uh very very good um saves throughout the game man. Man after man performance by him. Um Sibayas was very good too bro. Sibayas probably did the second best uh play out there for me. Uh, Diop, Diop, the cent, uh, the cent, uh, the center back for uh, West Ham, probably the only player I could say have a, a very good game for West Ham. He was solid all around, man. But if they, if West Ham had scored one or two goals, the attacking play would have been up there as uh, as putting a great performance. But they, the, the finishing wasn't there for them, and it's just like they couldn't get past Arsenal defense and and uh, Berlin, man. So that really helped Arsenal today man if it was a different day bro they probably would have lost this game or even draw this game because this game probably should have ended in a 0-0 draw man so that 1-0 draw man they should be happy with it man but the back four was very good man uh Socrates playing as a right back um they got Saka as the left back he has been doing a phenomenal job uh Socrates did very good as a right back man very surprised I was I was I was very unsure about him playing as right back but um, as the game go on, I'm like, okay, okay, he got this, man. Picked up a yellow card, but it is what it is. Uh, Paolo Mari um, played played very well alongside David Luiz, man. Both of those guys was very solid, man. So I want to see Arsenal play like this uh, for the rest of the season, man. This defense, play like this defensively for the rest of the season, man. Very solid defensively. Um, Shaka did all right. That didn't really have a, a very, very good game, but he did all right. Metsa Hustle did very good, man. Compared to all the attacking players, he was the better of all of them, um, uh, freaking uh, Pepe, Nicholas Pepe on the on the, what? he was on the right side, yeah, man. He was he was poor, very poor on the right side. The thing with Pepe is like he dribbles too much and he hold on to the ball for very too long, man. Saka is like that too. I, I kind of feel see Saka doing the same thing too, man. But yeah, man, you gotta release that ball. You gotta find players. You gotta yo, know, you gotta create chances, bro. Create more chances than you just just release the ball sometimes. Really free the ball, free the ball from Pepe. And um, Aubameyang on the left side, bro, opposite side of Pepe, man. He was very poor overall. Didn't really, didn't really make a, a big impact on the game. Very poor game. Uh, and KK, man, I would not start this guy. I know he scored from time to time, man, but I would not start this guy over Lacazette or even uh, Martinelli, bro. I don't know why Martinelli is not playing, bro. I, I think Martinelli is a better player overall than and and, and KTA, but for some reason, bro. Arteta is in love with this guy, man. But it is what it is, man, bro. Free my boy, Martinelli, man. Bring him back, man. Let him play some games. But, um, uh, Enkita, Enkitia, Enkitia, whatever his name is, bro, got some to that in the 59 minute. And, uh, like I said, came on. He had a phenomenal game, bro. Very involved throughout the game. 
scored the winning goal. Very good goal by him. Uh, West Ham attacking wise, I said it was very good, man. They hit the post early in the game, man. Very unlucky not to score that. And uh, yeah, man, they look good throughout the game, man. Very, very uh, good attacking uh, wise, attacking uh, display by them, man. The thing is that they just can't finish. They they poor finishing. They could attack, but they they poor at finishing, and they're very unlucky, bro. Like. The Liverpool game, this game, they should have got at least a point, man. But they end up losing all two, both of those games, man. But they're a good team, bro. I think versus a team around their status, uh, weaker team, they could they could um they could do some damage, man. But one zero win for Arsenal, man. Arsenal are pretty much very close to top four, bro. Very close, five points away with a game in hand, man. But it, the next game is versus City, so that's going pretty much a loss. We go, we go say that's a loss already. Cause I don't see the meeting city or even drawing versus city, man. But um, it is what it is, man. So uh, stat wise, man, Arsenal had like sixty nine percent ball possession. West Ham had a thirty one percent ball possession. West Ham had what nine shots in total, like had like what twelve or fourteen shots in total. Arsenal had nine shots in total. West Ham had. Uh, how many shots they had on target? They had like six on target. Arsenal only had two shots on target. So Arsenal was very poor in front of goal, man. But a win is a win, man. So definitely like, definitely subscribe, man. Follow your boy on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this game, man. And Arsenal in general and West Ham too. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.